Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Austin back again with another simple tutorial. So in this simple tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how you can play around with the source attribute using JavaScript and come up with some cool simple parts on your website like mine. As you can see here, I have some image changing dynamically. So there are two images. I'm just switching them using the source attribute if i'm to go to the elements tab just place ctrl shift i if you're on right now i'm using a chromebook i don't know what you'll be using maybe windows just right click and go to inspect guys using mozilla you will see inspect element so i'm just going to navigate to this part we are seeing so take note of the source attribute where i'm pointing as you can see, it is changing, switching images from logo 2 to logo 3. So they are playing around with the source attribute dynamically using JavaScript. And the example that I'm going to be showing you in this simple tutorial is this bulb. I guess you're not new to this. If you're new to, to this, I got these images from a website called W3Schools. So it's the one you're going to play around with and you see how it is very easy to change the source attribute of an image dynamically using JavaScript. Again, I'm going to go to inspect because I want to show you what takes place in the background when you are creating such stuff. So by default, we have our bulb and it is off. So there are two images that I'm having. There is bulb on and bulb off. So by default, they will show you the image of bulb off. So when you come on the website or web page, you have to click the switch on and take note of the source attribute. Right now we have bulb off. The moment I click switch on, as you can see, we have changed the source attribute to bulb on and it will be on. When I click switch off, take note of the source attribute here. It's going to go off and they change the source attribute. So we are going to play around with that in this simple tutorial and see how it is very easy to handle or create very very simple so what we are going to do is create our simple file and i'm going to call mine bulb.html so you can call yours anything you want so i have called mine bulb.html then let's create a simple html markup i guess you are not new to this then the head section sorry and inside the head we have the title tag i'm just going to write javascript then from the head we get the body and it's inside here where we put every thing that is vis visible on the page so our markup is going to be very, very simple. Let me first launch that page. So you can go to where you have saved this file and open it in the browser. Mine is here. So I can close now this. Then what's this? I can also close this. And what I'm going to show you is switch, switching the attribute, source attribute of an image. You can create a simple carousel slider image slider using this simple stuff so that will be somehow more advanced but this is what i'm going to be showing you in this tutorial so the folder where these two things are found as you can see bulb.html is in the same folder with a, a folder called img so this is where the images are we have bulb on which is this it's a gif image then bulb off so we are going to be switching between these two images off and on off and on so let's create a simple markup we're just going to create a div because i want them to be centered i'm just going to give it a class of container then i'm also going to create another div inside and give it a class of 
controllers. So these are just divs that I've come up with. I want to I want my things to be centered. So here in the head section, I'm just going to create some custom style tag and come back to it. Now let's create the first button which is having switch on. So switch on. Then let's create another button with switch off. Let us refresh. And this is what we are having. So we are going to place our image in the middle. So we are going to create the image tag here. The image tag takes in the source attribute. And remember, as I said, they're in the same folder with this folder of IMG. So we are going to first specify the folder IMG, then forward slash, we are entering inside. And we want to get this default bulb that is shown to the user bulb off dot gif. So we say bulb off dot gif. Save. And this is the image that we're having. So let us first center this in the middle here. You're going to see how it is very, very simple to center using Flexbox. Maybe you'll be creating a landing site and you don't know the easiest way to center. And also this tutorial is going to show you that. Remember, we created a div here and gave it a class of container. So we just target that class of container. And we just say display to flex and give it a height of 100 viewport height. Then remember this, the class of controllers. So we just come there and say controllers. And we just say margin auto. Sorry. Margin auto. And only these simple rules, they are going to center our stuff. Great. Very, very simple. You don't need to write a lot of code to center something on the page. Just put this play flex, give it a height of 100 view, port height, and margin auto for the child div that is inside. Very, very simple. So I'm first going to show you the first way you can handle this, the switch on and switch off methods. The first way is to do what they call the inline JavaScript. So inline, we just put the on-click event on the element. And I guess this is the old fa fashion. You can do this, but I have to show it to you so that you get it. So we are just going to create an on-click event. Then also here put the on-click event. Let me first separate this so that we get some network so first we are giving them an on click event so when the person clicks on it what do you want to do so we are going to give this image the one we created an id of bulb so you can call it anything you want but i want to be specific so we are going to do document dot get element by id so you guessed it right this id we have created here which is bulb and we say dot src so the source we want to change its source so we want to change this source remember we first go inside the img folder so here even here we shall write img forward slash and it's switch on then we are going to get bulb on dot gif stuff like that then save and see if it has worked when we click this as you can see now they are changing now let us work also on the switch off so this is the first method that i'm showing you and it's the same i'm just going to carry this and paste it on off and when the person presses the off button, then the bulb want to get bulb off. So the default one here. So let us see, switch on, it goes on. 
switch off it goes off as you can see when we inspect the elements take note of the source attribute when i say on it changes then when i click off it changes so we are playing around with the source attribute dynamically using javascript but this is the old fashion what if we want a lot of stuff to happen when you're using javascript so this will be a lot to add going add on add on stuff like that so we can get rid of this we don't want to congest our markup our html it has to be free you can also get rid of this source attribute from the image what we need to do is give these elements ids and i'm going to call this one on then i'm also going to give this one an id of off and we have that's our simple markup so we leave our html free from javascript we want html to be html and javascript to be javascript so what you need to do is first grab on these elements that we have given ids you get so we are going to start by let me first show you refresh that's what we are having so let us first initialize this image so that is displayed when the person comes on the page what we are going to do we are going to do document dot get element element by id and remember it has the id of bulb this one so it's the id you put there then you say dot source so we are setting the source attribute remember our images are inside the folder called img forward slash and we want the bulb off dot gif refresh and yeah so right now we are setting this source attribute dynamically on the page our html is free from javascript we are only grabbing on this id and we are initializing that then let us create functions that we run when somebody clicks the switch on button and switch off button so we are going to also grab on the on the on those elements so document dot get element by id element by id remember it has the id of on sorry so we are grabbing on this first button or element and we want to add an event listener event listener so what kind of event do you want to listen to we want to listen to a click when somebody clicks comes and clicks on the button we want to listen to a click event so that's the type of event listener we want and we shall run a function called switch on so we have not yet created this function and we are going to create it very soon as you have guessed we are also going to grab on this document dot you can you are free to copy paste but i want you to go step by step get element by id sorry mind about this statement the way you write it get element e is in uppercase b is in uppercase and i is in uppercase so we want to get the element with the id of off which is this and we add the event listener and it is also a click when somebody clicks on that button and we shall run a function called switch off you can call it anything you want but i want to be specific so right now we have access to these two elements the on and the off element so what you are going to do is create a function called switch on and we are going to create a variable and i'm just going to call it on and i'm going to do document dot get element by id and we want to get this image id so we want to change the source attribute for that image and we are going to do on the variable we have created here 
dot source so the src and we want to go to the image folder forward slash then we want to get the bulb on dot gif so let us see if it has really worked when the user clicks this it goes on so that means our on this id our on button is getting the function is running the function switch on so when the person clicks on this switch on button they run this function switch on then let's do the same for the switch off function the one we created here switch off function still i'm just going to create a variable called off you are free to call it anything you want it's user defined get element by id one the element with the id of bulb which is the image then we just say off dot the source attribute then we want to go inside the folder called img then we get the bulb off dot gif so let us see if, if that has worked switch on switch off switch on switch off so let us inspect the element and see what's going on as you can see when i say switch on our source attribute changes switch off it also changes to off so that's how you can play around with this source attribute and come up with such effects on your page so javascript has a lot of things you can do with it as you can see for me on my site i just play around with my face there are two images that i'm playing around with logo 2 and logo 3 so you can decide to create anything you want from this just that for me here i have some set timeout functions so after some few seconds it comes some few seconds it goes off but here we are handling the click events so what happened when somebody clicks on a specific element very very simple so you can decide even to leave your markup free from javascript you can decide to remove this from the markup and just put your custom script tag just put the source and let's say we call it bulb.js so you have not yet created this file just we are just going to create a new file just remove these script tags from here just save this bulb and we are going to say bulb.js so let us refresh this page switch on it, it's going on and off it's going on so what we are doing we have just linked our bulb.js on the same page very very simple so that's it guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead and subscribe to my channel like the video share it on different social medias and i'll see you in the next tutorials all this code is going to be available on this website by the time you watch this tutorial all the files that we have used will be available so guys peace